Hello and welcome back to another video of Long and Hardy Collectibles. Uh, in this video I'd like to go through more of my signed items as I, I couldn't get them all uh, fitted in on the last uh, video so um, I'm hoping to squeeze a bit more in, in this one. So uh, just starting off with is, is this letter by Stan Law. This is actually just a copy, this letter, this is not an original letter. But uh, I liked it, so I, I copied it at the time, and it's signed clearly Stan Lyle. And uh, what I find interesting about this is his his warm nature and his affection um, towards his partner, Oliver Hardy. And this is uh, dated May 10th, 58. It's dated to, uh, um, um, written to Charles. And... Uh, just in this section here, he's put, uh, Not much to tell you about myself, Charles, except that due to a stroke about three years ago, I am not able to work anymore, so I was forced to retire. Anyway, I am getting along okay, I'm getting around pretty good, and managed to keep busy writing letters and watching TV, etc. Now that Mr Hardy passed on, I wouldn't want to work anyway. I sure miss him after the many years of happy association. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. So, um, it just goes to show that, that, that uh, Oliver Hardy's death, 1957, this is 1958, the year on, and um, you can see that he's still deeply missing him. And um, it just goes to show uh, what a warm heart that he had, and um, that there was nothing. No friction between the pair of them, and um, you know you can, might get it with other comedy couples or even groups in like music industries where they fall apart for so many years. But whereas in Stan and Ollie's case, they kept together right to the end, through thick and thin, and they just stuck together no matter what. And there was nothing um, that they were sort of jealous or anything between each other. It was all very, you know, you do your bit, I do mine and it just gelled together and I just think that's just really nice so it's very rare to have that I think um, especially with a lot of professional artists even today and then uh, moving on from that I have um, we'll start we'll start here so this one here this is the first original uh, photo I have this is Tony Baker the driver he um, he was at the Romney Hyphen Dimchurch Railway that uh, Stan and Ollie opened in 1947 after the war, and he signed that clearly. Tony Baker, driver, so he was the driver. This chap here, and obviously you can see they swapped hats. So it's nice to have um, the uh, driver that uh, met them that day. Um, this is another co-star I have. This is uh, Best Wishes, Daphne Pollard, June 26, 1922. So this is a way few years before the 1936 film, Our Relation with Lauren Hardy, where she played Oliver's wife. And clearly that's her signature there. So that's another nice, nice example. Uh, this, I have two um, signed uh, photographs of Joy Lane. She, uh, this little girl here, she was a contract player at the Howard Studios. A member of our gang, I think. And um, she appeared in um, Babes in Toyland, which is the 1934 uh, Lauren Hardy feature also on that side. And she signed her name here. And I think she is... Just where my finger is there, that's her there. Stan and Ollie are, are around here. So that's before the cast on the set of Babes in Toyland. And then this one here I've got of Rosina Lawrence. Nice example of original signature. With her most famous role, which would have been Way Out West. And also she was in Pick a Star, which I believe was the same year. Um, which I'm thinking is 1937. Both films are 1937, and this one 
is Trudy Marshall, which is from the 1943 Dancing Masters. And again, nice genuine autograph signature signed on just in the corner there of Trudy Marshall. And then moving on from that, I have got Dyla Hood. And she's put um, she's just put on there best of luck, Dyla Hood. And she was the girl that played with them in the Bohemian Girl, which uh, I think is 1936. Um, really, really good film. So, uh, so yeah, so it's nice to have Dial Hood, another child star, a bit like Jacqueline Lynn as well. So as I've, as I've showed that in a previous video. Um, and then moving on from that to a slightly different subject, this one here. Is Paulette Paulette Goddard, and she just signed across her image here. And she was in the Charlie Chaplin Modern Times, which is 1936, and also the 1940 film The uh, Great Dictator. And uh, plus, she was married to him for a few years as well. And then again, related to Charlie Chaplin. Not related, uh, as in family related, but as in film related, you've got Virginia Shower, who was the blind flower girl in the 1931 film City Lights. And uh, this is, she's put sincerely, 1936. And uh, it, I think it was quite a, an awkward film to make this one with Charlie Chaplin. Um, as she was very, very young in this film. And... Again, she was probably late, and uh, I think she sort of um, delayed scenes a lot, and it took so long to film certain scenes of this of this particular film. Uh, like like many of his films, they seem to take forever to make, uh, sometimes up to a year or more, which is absolutely ridiculous. But that is what uh, type of perfectionist that, that Charlie Chaplin was. So he was a completely different artist and filmmaker. Um, and then this one is Robert Downey Jr. who is a great actor to this day and for me Chaplin the film, the uh, autobiography film <coughs> which is a, a, a Richard Attenborough film 1992. Uh, I still think it's one of his best roles to this day. But uh, yeah, it's nice to have uh, Robert Downey Jr. And uh, on this side you've got uh, Jack Barty who played Jitters in Oliver the Eighth. Great actor and um, really, really good role where he played uh, the butler, the, the crazy butler. And uh, really, really funny on Hardy Short. So again, another uh, example of his signature on original photograph. And then moving on from that, I have got uh, this one here. This is Billy Gilbert. Billy Gilbert again is sort of in line with um, uh, James Finlayson or May Bush. He's, he's a very popular co-star. I think you know he's in that sort of line to get hold of. And a uh, really, really nice example, clear example there. Billy Gilbert's signature. He signed that to a peak. I hope you remember us. Um, Billy Gilbert. So again, another nice example. And as well as he is famous from the 1932 that everyone knows about, the uh, Music Box, the Academy Award. Uh, short subject. And then uh, here you've got, again, from Babes in Toyland. That's another one from uh, of um, Henry Brandon. Really nice, clear example of, of his signature. Who was uh, who played the villain? Who played Silas Barnaby in um, Babes in Toyland or March of the Wooden Soldiers, which whichever you prefer. I keep getting mixed up because they have different titles, but <coughs> which one you're comfortable with? And. Um, and then this one here, this one is quite sad. Uh, this one here is signed by Lois. Stan's only daughter. 
it's his best wishes. Uh, Lois Lower Horse, which is her married name, and um, as she passed just uh, this year, going back in July, I think, and uh, that's uh, that was really sad news at the time. So that's her only um, Stan's only daughter. So uh, let's just hope that they're finally finally together now, and very happy as one big family somewhere. Uh, and then um, just over here, this is another one, the original uh, postcard which uh, Stan Lowell has typed and signed from his Santa Monica apartment. And uh, he's just signed that Stan. You'll notice with the Lowell and Hardy signatures that sometimes if it's just Stan Lowell he'll, he'll either sign it Stan or Stan Lowell. So uh, this is a, a, just one as an example of signed as Stan. And on here, uh, this is to a uh, Ernie. This is January 12, 62. Uh, he's put, I'm sure you'll be sorry to hear the sad news of Frank Force. He died yesterday afternoon. Um, wish you a wonderful uh, Christmas and we both here wish you a wonderful New Year. Good health and happy successful 1962 I love and best as ever Stan really really nice and you'll notice here on afternoon uh, if you can see that on there he's put the N on top of the O so um, it's quite amusing that he couldn't quite fit it in as he was writing so instead of dropping the whole word down underneath he's just put put the, the word in as it is and just pop the N on, on top of the O, which is quite it's quite funny actually to see that. And again it just shows his, his personality of, and who you know what you know who he was and what kind of person he was. You can tell a lot just through reading letters um, and get to know the the, the, uh, the type of uh, person of what they were really like. Uh, this one this is another original letter with original envelope. This one's clearly signed Stan Lowell. You don't align that with a full stop. So again that adds to the authenticity. You get to know his signature. Underline underneath a full stop. Uh, this is signed June 23rd, 1958. This is signed to it, Glenn. Um, I'll try not to read the whole lot, but if I can read the important parts, it's put um, it's put, read the golden age of comedy. Any of the scenes of L and H were made in 1927 and 1928-29. If any scenes were shown of me working single lengthly, were made in 1923, before I teamed with Mr. Hardy. Interesting. I didn't say in my last letter that I started show business with Charlie Chaplin. You are mistaken on that. I said. I came to this country in the same show in 1910, in which he was a member. No, Mr Hardy never got hurt taking falls, at least never seriously. So that's nice to know, because I always used to think growing up watching them that Ollie was, oh my god, maybe he really got hurt doing these films as he seemed to get most of the knocks, but uh, obviously not, which which is a good thing. Um, and then I'll just miss a small section there. And then just at the end here, he's put uh, Mr. Hardy was over six foot tall, and I'm five foot nine. So that's interesting to know. So a nice, genuine letter there. Fully signed by Stan Lowell. But it, it's nice to know that, you know, with their height, because um, they actually look sometimes similar in height when you see them on film. But um, obviously, there was a height difference. It just goes to show you what uh, film. Uh, trickery can do so uh, so that's it for this video and uh, there is another one I've got I've got some checks I want to show so I'll have to do those on the next one so uh, so yeah so uh, so that's it for this one so I hope hope you've all enjoyed this video and um, see you next time bye